go yet. All right, James, we'll leave you there. Thank you. An investigation is to be launched into how nearly 60 climate change protesters were able to break into the grounds of Stansted Airport, causing flight cancellations and delays for thousands of passengers. Police arrested 57 people. Ryanair has accused the airport company BAA of failing to keep the airport secure. From Stansted, here's Tom Simons. It's 3 a.m. Under protesters' camera rolls as 54 activists break through Stansted's perimeter fence. The runway's a few hundred metres from here. They bring heavy sections of railing to which they lock themselves. What all this about is highlighting the hypocrisy of the government's current plans. You know, they've got this climate change bill and yet they're still planning on expanding all the major airports in the UK. By dawn, there's a standoff on a taxiway that prevents the airport opening for business. Police have to cut them free one by one. So a hundred flights are taking off every hour from this airport, and um, I'm afraid the police are taking my telephone, and I... Uh, OK, out! Thank you. These young activists said today their parents' generation had failed them in the face of climate change. It was a peaceful protest. But it was also seriously disruptive. The stranded queued for hours in the terminal, on offer the odd bottle of water, but few flights. I've had to feed my baby in the queue, got no milk left. I'm not paying money you know, for a train when I've paid my airfare. We've had no guidance from Ryanair. We've just been handed out a... A leafland, more or less told to get on with things. Ryanair's passengers were worst affected with 52 cancellations. Some will get refunds. Most just wanted to fly. The airline bitterly criticised the airport's security procedures. The protesters managed to get through a fence here and onto a taxiway adjacent to the runway, which was due to open at 5am after maintenance. The proposed second runway, which triggered the protest, would be built here. Well, they've started repairing the breach in the fence from this morning. But this is a remote location, no doubt carefully chosen by the protesters. There are 18 miles of security fences around this airport, and the airport says there's always a danger someone's going to get in. What we have to do is contain that risk, and that's exactly what we did. They failed to get to the runway. Uh, they were stopped well short of the runway and then removed by the police. Tonight, there are fewer queues, but some may not fly for days. And this is no frills air travel, which usually means no hotel. Tom Simons, BBC News, Stansted Airport. Protesters in Greece have fought running battles with riot police in some of the...